Hello, my name's Fiona Kerr-Rowley. I'm the course lead for the Early Years Childcare Department. Um, welcome to our welcome event. We're going to run through a few things this morning and if you've got any questions, um, there's a section on the side where on the bottom if you just want to write some questions on and we can answer them at the end. So as I said, I'm Fiona Kerr-Rowley and I'll hand you over to one of our tutors. Hello there. I'm Hannah Hill. Uh, hi, I'm Hannah Hill. Um, I'm one of our level one and level two early years tutors as well. So you've probably seen me around college. So if you've got any questions, please do, you know, shout out and we'll try and answer them as best as we can. Hope you enjoy. Right, we're now going to move on and we've got a, um, a video from our principal who would like to speak to you and give you some information about the college and introduce himself. Normally we'd have you in the college, getting a feel of the building and getting to meet your tutors in person as part of our welcome day. But today, hopefully, we will still meet your needs in ensuring we provide you with the information you need and the knowledge to ensure you start in September with us in a seamless way. You will have uh, received information regarding our seven day free bus pass, uh, and that is seven days. That ability to get around uh, Red Kern, East Cleveland and the Tees Valley on an evening and a weekend during term time is a fantastic opportunity for you to really get out of, of where you live and free. Uh, to you to use that. When you joined us in September, um, the college will look slightly different. Uh, depends on what happens with the current social distancing rules. The college has been adapted for the current guidelines on social distancing. So sure you're safe as we all can be in these um, these difficult times. It is important you take responsibility when you enter the building that you follow social distance and wash your hands regularly. Uh, and just, you know, make sure all of us are safe by following the rules that are set out. And obviously, as we get nearer to September, um, the rules may have changed and we'll, we'll change with them to, to accommodate you at the college. Today, like I said, is about you getting to know uh, your tutor. It's about getting to ask questions. It's about getting to understand you know, what the course will entail when you come to join us. So it is important you take time to ask them questions get to know the tutor and really find out what you need for when you come to college. Today there will also be videos from student services where you will find about the enrichment opportunities, you will find out about the student bursary, any finances that are available to you such as free school meals and please please take up them opportunities you know the, the money is there to support you as students at our college you know if you don't access that money when we don't need know you need that money and what we have seen through these difficulty times is that people, sometimes people really struggle, um, you know, when they haven't got that, that finances available. So please, you know, with the student bursary to help you support you with kit and equipment, free school meals, the seven day bus pass, that's all there for you. And we're here to support you to have the best experience you can at the college. The college is about giving you life chances. It's about enabling you to take that next step. You know, you've finished GCSEs, no matter what your results, yeah, because they'll come in August and they'll be what they'll be. What I can guarantee you now is a place for you at the college. If you don't quite get them grades, then it mean, may mean you don't go straight on to level three. It may mean you're going at level two, but I can guarantee there's a place for you at the college. Obviously, we expect high standards at the college, so it is important that when you arrive at the college, you are punctual, you are appropriately dressed for your lessons, you wear the appropriate PPE and you follow the college rules because it's important we're preparing you for work and without them basic discipline standards you won't succeed at work. So please use college as that environment where you can develop your knowledge, your skills and your behaviours ready for the workplace because that's what will set you apart from your peers when you start on that journey to employment. Offer under higher education or you want to fight for that place for the apprenticeship. Red Cleveland College is here to support you. A lot of what you do and a lot of what your achievement will be, but simply down to your hard work, 
your commitment and motivation. And I can say that from my personal experience. You succeed in life by hard work, commitment and dedication. So please take time today to speak to the tutors, ask questions, whether that be regarding the technical part of your qualification or your course, whether that be to do with free meals, bursary allowances, please ask them questions. What I would close by saying is study safe, study local and study at Red Crown Cleveland College. Thank you. I'm just going to run through um, a PowerPoint about um, the childcare, the early years courses that are on offer at the college. So I'm the um, course lead for the um, head of the early years department. And in that department, we run level one, two and three courses. And um, Hannah, who introduced herself earlier on, she's one of our course tutors on these courses. So your childcare course will, um, it provides students with the skills needed to work and educate, um, work with children and educate children and babies um, in lots of different ways <clears throat> through practical sessions and theory sessions within the college. We're not always in a classroom, we're in different rooms like our virtual nursery and our baby care room so you can get the skills to go out into the workforce and work with babies and young children. So we have the three levels of qualification. We have level one, which at the minute is the combined childcare and health. We do the two just in case you're undecided whether you want to move into um, working in, in the health sector or the childcare sector. Now on the level one course, you will need to have two GCSEs at, a, uh, at grade one or two. If you've got two GCSEs and one and two, then you can come on to the level one course. Um, if you um, want to move up to the next level after you've done that, then you will be able to move up to the next level, which is the level two. Now the level two course, if you were coming straight from school, you would need to have four GCSEs at a level three or four. And this must include maths and English. Now, if you um, had high qualifications and you had four GCSEs at level four, five, six, seven, eight or nine, one again must be maths and one must be English. You can come on straight on to the level three course. And the level three course is a two year course. And on that course, you um, will will learn skills like I just previously talked about in, in the areas in the um, college and also on placement. Now, as I said, if you came in at level one or level two with those grades, as well as your qualification, you would also study maths and English and um, all students um, around the country need to study maths and English to make sure they are coming out with a grade four because on your CV um, you want to have the highest grade you, ha you can get um, so we, we want all our students to leave the college with um, excellent grades within the childcare qualification but also maths and English. Now don't worry if you have thought you wanted to come straight on to a level two or level three and you didn't get the grades, you will be able to move up the levels of qualifications. We've had students who've come in at level one and they've moved all the way up to level three and passed their level three and some have moved on to university. Moving on to the next slide, these are some of the, the um, subjects you will study and that's right across level one, two and three. We've got child development, which looks at a children, all children's development from birth to seven years. 
We have child health. We have safe environments and that looks at child protection because we need to know how to keep children safe and if we feel they're not safe we need to know what to do to make them safe and who we need to refer to. We look at children who have additional needs and how we can work and support children with additional needs to make sure that they are getting the opportunities that all children get. And play and learning is a great part of children's development. They learn initially through play. So we need to, to be able to provide resources and an environment to help them to learn to, from play. A big part of being um, an early years practitioner is we have to observe children and we have to assess children and we have to plan for their needs. So we have a unit on observation, assessment and planning. Now in the second year of um, the um, level three course, we look more, in, more into detail about children's learning and we look at emergent literacy and emergent maths. And we look at school readiness because that's the main aim that we want children ready to, for school. And if children enjoy school from a young age, they will succeed in the rest of their ed education right through to secondary school. We look at international perspectives and that's looking at different types of education in different countries. For instance, Montessori. Um, Montessori, we do have a few nurseries, not so many schools, but we have a few nurseries in our area where you could do a placement if required. Um, and Montessori is very much looking at children learning through everyday activities like watering plants and making tea and ironing. Um, so they're learning through doing what you would do if, if you were at home. Look at professional partnership. And then we also, which is a, 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 a key skill, we look at reflective practice because as practitioners and as tutors like Hannah and myself do, we have to look to see how we work and is it effective? And are you learning from what we are teaching you? And that's what you do as early years practitioners. You look at yourself, you look at, at the activities you're providing and are they suitable for children? When I was talking about the different areas in, in the college, we have a virtual nursery and there's a picture, I'd like to say left or right, but I'm not sure which one, you, you, how you were seeing the picture, but the one where there's a big cupboard anyway and, and some toys, um, that's our virtual nursery. And we very often go in there and we set up activities and we think about how children are going to learn from those activities. Um, and, and develop and how we can create those activities when you go into placement. We also have a, um, a sen sensory equipment and we're developing a sensory room so we can go in and see how children would feel in a sensory room, what benefits they get from that and especially children with additional needs. We very often have guest speakers come into the college, so it isn't just about Hannah and I doing all the sessions. We'll have guest speakers coming in who are experts in, the, in their field. For instance, the session where the photos are, we um, had a health visitor come in and do a session and she was talking about immunisation and she did a lot of practical um, uh, session, um, bits and bobs within the session um, explaining to students um, what what she does in her day to day job and how how she does it. We also have um, a room where we do baby care skills because some people might want to go and work in a day nursery where you will be changing nappies and you will be um, making bottle feeds and you've got to know all those skills to do that. But also you have to know that we need a, a clean, safe environment for the children, like wearing the rubber gloves. And at the minute, obviously with um, all the COVID, you know, we're washing our hands all the time, we're using sanitizers. Now this is normal practice when you're working with children and babies, you have to be especially clean so we don't pass on anything to the children or they're not passing it in between themselves. So you will learn things in our baby um, care room. At the end of level three, we have 
piloted the last couple of years doing a paediatric first aid certificate for students where we do it over a couple of weeks because when you go out into practice um, as an early years practitioner in the first six months, you need to acquire a paediatric first aid certificate to work in that environment. So we're giving that opportunity for our students to get that paediatric first aid. So when you apply for jobs, you can put it on your certificate as well as your qualifications and to an employer um, that looks really good because then they don't have to pay for you to go on a paediatric first aid. You've already got that certificate. You will go on work placement on level two and level three, and it is a requirement of the course that you must do a placement. You must go out and put all the theory into practice. What you've learned in college, you go out and put it into practice. You will be visited um, whilst in placement by our um, qualified assessors and it's uh, within your qualification we have a bit that says be able to criteria and that links to the placement you have to be able to do something in placement so it might be that you provide an activity for the children and then you look at how that worked and was it good and could it have been any better so you will go out into um, placement on a regular basis to get those skills. After you've finished the level three qualification or you've moved up from your level one, two and three and you've finished your three, you can move on at the college and you can do um, a foundation degree and then get your full degree at the college. So if you don't want to move away from home and you want to stay at home, um, and not have to spend lots of money on accommodation and feeding yourself and everything. You can stay at home and you can come to Red Car College and you can do a, um, a degree at the college to work with children teaching um, or other uh, different areas and you can get, get that degree at the college. As well as um, the, being in the college and placement, we also do field trips. And we do those with health and so the health and social care department, the child care and the health and social care department. And one of those big trips is going to remain to Romania, which is unique to Red Car College. And the students go off to Romania with tutors and they will visit hospitals and they will visit schools, visit the orphanages and they will work with the children, taking activities and supporting those children. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity and the students have been, have thoroughly enjoyed their time there. They have laughed and they have cried, but they've said they've come back and they've said they've never experienced anything like that and they probably won't again, but they've taken a lot from that work and it is work when you go over there. Um, with the children and um, the people that they go and visit. You also will have a uniform, a student uniform. Um, and this is also to wear when you go out in placement and it has the college, will have the college logo on because we want to celebrate our students and we want to show everybody who comes into the schools and the nurseries that these are Red Car and, college, Red Car and Cleveland College students. Um, and you are a role model for us when you go out and it just tells everybody that you are a student and that you are learning um, and, and they will help you out and support you through that. But this will be you will have a uniform. We talk about um, bursary later on and that will help um, some students towards paying for this uniform. I'm not going to say much on student services because again, um, there's a, a video which explains about student services, but we have an excellent student service department who will support our students with whatever issues. And if they can't help you, we will always find somebody else who can help you in the college. Again, similar to the welfare services, we have welfare services in the college who if you need to speak to anybody and you, you the tutor um, is in a lesson or you would rather speak to somebody else, they're always there for, to help you and support you with any issues that are going on, whether it's something at home or whether it's something at college, 
we have our excellent welfare services to support you. So the benefits for the students coming to our college and onto our course is you have free travel, like Jason said earlier, earlier on, and um, you have your free travel seven days a week. You get free Wi-Fi. We've got um, a gym on site that you can use and there's a hairdressing and beauty salon that you can also use, which is at a cheaper rate um, than going to any other salons. You get you may get financial support. And as I said, there's great support um, for the students from our students um, student services. Your tutors that teach you come from that work industry. So we have that knowledge and background. Um, I've had many years um, working with children and families, so I have that experience to pass on to you. As I said, we do off off-site field trips and you, you'll have um, support um, tutorials from your um, tutors and you'll get them every week. But if you need them more often, then they will be provided to you. And also we get guest speakers from the sectors just to round it all up. OK, thank you. So now we're going to pass on um, and you're going to have, like I've just said, uh, uh, the student services talk and they can give you more information about what they do and how they can support you. Hi, I'm Tom from the Tutorial Enrichment Team and the Student Services Team. We want to make sure you have a great experience while you study at Redcar and Cleveland College. We arrange loads of events and sessions which help you gain additional skills and have fun whilst doing it. These sessions allow you to make informed choices about your lifestyle, making sure your mind and body stay healthy and safe. We love putting on events like Freshers' Fair, a great opportunity for you to have fun at the start of a year. Respect Festival, where you can learn about others, their lifestyle and differences. And the Progression Fair, which gives you the opportunity to plan your future, talk to universities and employers. We love students getting involved, so when you start in September, please come along to Student Services and say hi. Hi. My name's Lorraine Preston and I work for Student Bursary as part of the Student Services team. We understand that coming to college can be very costly, but we want to be able to offer you the financial help and support that you need to help you just concentrate on your studies. We're encouraging everybody to complete an online bursary application form as we offer help with free bus travel to and from college, a weekly bursary for our 16 to 18 year old students, help with childcare costs and meals while you attend college, but also discounts on course kits and equipment. Did you also know that the college has free Wi-Fi, free print credits, free online resources and free access to IT equipment? Don't forget to complete your online bursary form before September. Look out for our online videos which help and support you and we look forward to seeing you soon. Hi, I'm Alice, part of the careers team within Student Services at Red Car and Cleveland College and I'm here to give you some information on how you can make some informed choices about your future goals. You may already know what you want to do and just need some help and encouragement in planning how to get there. Or you're starting to think about your next steps and I can help you prepare for your future goals. I can explore lots of options with you to help you make the best decisions about moving on to more college courses or onto university. I can also help with job search skills such as where the jobs are, what jobs are available, and what you can earn. Hi, I'm Jenny. I'm the welfare officer in the student services team. I'm part of a specialist team here to help you to stay safe and well whilst you're studying at college. Rekka College is committed to safeguarding and promoting your well-being so that you can focus on your studies. The team and I can refer you to specialist external services so that they can provide you with the support and advice that you may need. You can pop into the welfare team at any point. We also work closely with the tutors and they can bring you along if they feel you need our help. Thanks now, bye. Hi, I'm Helen Marnie. I'm a welfare officer in the student services team. I'm part of a specialist team here to help you to stay safe and well while you're studying at college. You can pop and see the welfare team at any point. And we also work with all the tutors in college and they can bring you along if they know you need our help. Hi, I'm Tracy Williams, Surf Garden Officer in the Student Services Team. I'm part of a specialist team here to support you to stay safe and well while studying in college. Redcar is committed to safeguarding you and to promote your well-being to allow you to focus on your studies. 
the team and I can refer you to specialist external services who can give you the advice and support you may need. So we have a great student services, like I said, at our college, and we work very closely as tutors with our student services to make sure you are supported and you are happy at college, because that's the main thing. You need to be happy to come into the class and to, to study with us. Um, We're now going to move on to the school's team. Hi everyone, it's Alice here from the skills team over at Red Car and Cleveland College. I hope you're all well. Uh, I just wanted to jump on and give a little update about enrolment today. Obviously, the past few months have been really strange for you. They've been really strange for all of us too. But we do want you to know that you have got your place here at Red Car and Cleveland College, no matter what your results are. You are fully supported by all of our teams. Um, with enrolment, we are still working out the ins and outs and everything like that. But you will receive a letter and it will have details on of the dates that you need to enrol as, as how enrolment will take place. It'll be really clear and it'll be really easy to follow to make the process as smooth as possible. Um, if you do have any questions about your course, anything to do with the course information or um, it might be other things that we're trying to do for you in, on campus, like your bus pass or your bursary. You can get in contact with our team at info at cleveland.ac.uk. As well as that, you can always contact us on our social media pages. Now, our social media pages are a really good way to keep up to date with everything that's going on in college on our end, as well as what you can look forward to when you start with us. Um, so if you search on any of your social media platforms at Red Car College, you'll find us on there. On every Tuesday, our team jumps onto the Instagram for a takeover as well and answers all of your burning questions so you can get a direct reply from us then too. Um, I hope you have a really nice summer. Enjoy your break and get ready for some hard work in, from September um, and take care. We'll hope to see you soon. Thank you. So that's it for all the information that we're going to give you today. So thank you very much for coming on and taking the time to listen. Um, and we really can't wait for you to come on to our childcare and early years courses in September. We'll be ready and waiting for you. So enjoy your summer um, and you know we'll see you then. If you've got any questions now, um, we'll answer your questions live. If you want to type any questions, um, at the bottom of your screen, there should be um, two little bubbles that say it's Q&A. If you've got any questions to ask, if you just type in there and we can answer those questions. There's also the link on that bit, the Q&A bit, if you have a look on there that you can link to, to to do your bursary. Get that done as soon as you can. If you go online um, on the link there and, and apply for your bursary. OK, I don't think there's any questions coming through, but if you do have any questions that you think you might like to ask, a lot of you have got my email address, so just email me um, and I'll get back to you. I am on holiday for the rest of this week, but I will get back to you with answers to your questions. But your place is secure on our childcare course, so we will see you in September. Thank you.